tried a few different things, ways to save our bananas. We still didn't get any bananas this year, so I'm not gonna say it was a success, but uh, on one of the bananas, they did actually continue to grow. So I guess it was some ways we could have did it better. Or right, it just got too, too cold. Really, we don't get down in the temperatures of like 14 and 10 and all of that down here. So it's kind of unseasonably uh, cold. And I had them in like an unheated garage. So this year, I'm going to try. Last year, we knocked all the dirt off. Uh, cut the, I just used a regular little uh, cutter, pruner, and you can see bells, you can show them. Actually, what we do with the leaves are, we just make them as mulch around our in-ground plants, like uh, things like that. Like a blueberry. I didn't get any problems with it. Actually, we did, we did have a, a wonderful, I would say, blueberry harvest. So I'm going to continue doing that with the leaves and we have neighbors and things with uh, banana leaves so we're going to get some more of those and kind of march around a lot of our blueberries. Now, right now you can actually, I only want to just save one but with these small ones they call them pups. You can save those separate. Just knock them off. Not that one. I knocked it off too much. <laughs> but I don't want I don't want to save those really. I just want to save that this large one. So I was watching Lead Farmer, unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to go get that last view like I usually do before I try something that somebody does. So I can't remember how much of the saw he took off if any what kind of bag he used but his he was showing uh, when he was saving his banana trees he pretty much just dig them up and put them in a bag so i'm gonna go around this i think i'm gonna okay. take these off and save them separate now i did this last year Like I said, last year I think we knocked all the dirt off and like washed all the dirt off the roof. This year, I'm gonna try to see if I, if I leave that dirt on, whether or not it's gonna be better for them. I'll save that one over there. This one, I'm just gonna pull it off. Oh, but I do got some roots on it though. Look at that. So I might put that one in with them. Then next year. But I'll put these, these smaller ones, I'm gonna put them just in a pot, just like if we were potting tomato plants or anything. They won't grow that much during the winter anyway inside. But they do look nice with that green color inside. So I just get a bag. Stuff. And basically, I got some bigger bags, but these are some pillowcases bags that Bell gave me. A free bag. <laughs> <laughs> A free pillowcase. So Pillows. <laughs> Hopefully, it's big enough for this one. It is kind of wet. I wish it was a little drier so it wouldn't rotten out, but I'm going to put some holes in it. Maybe just a few. I think he said, like, do it like this and tie it up, but I'm not sure if he said tie it up or not. You have to go to his channel at uh, Lead Farmer 73, L E A 
AD Farmer 73 and see what he says because I'm not sure right now. Kind of panicking because we only got maybe about 45 minutes left before to daylight dark. and we got a whole bunch of things to do. So uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'll bring them over here. I know. So you don't have to be afraid. This is all we're doing is just come in here and just chopping off. If it was summertime, Bells will cook with these things, <laughs> like some eggs and fish and stuff. But now we're just using them for mulch. So that's how you save your banana plants. Hopefully. <laughs> this <for winter>. year. <laughs> Hopefully it works this year. So next spring we'll see whether this method was a better method for us than the last one we used. Thank y'all for watching. Grow, grow, grow. Peace.